Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm doing a little bush flying with someone rather special. In the black one behind me, we have Jeff Faviano, who is multiple game YouTuber, but uh, he also does flying, both in sim and real life. And uh, we're going for a little bit of an adventure today in the Savage Gravel. Oh, great. And I should, I'm going to wait until we get to one of the nicer strips, I think, before I do something for mine, because uh, home is nice, but we've got better coming. We've got a couple of legs today. We're going down to um, Saldovia, which is just across the opposite coast, and then on to Nanwalek, which is one you took an A320 to for some reason. Mad oh, yeah. man. I and heading that. down to Dogfish Bay eventually. But we're going to stop off on some sandbars, some, you know, ridge lines. We're going to have some fun with this thing. This is 250 horsepower of uh, inline V6 with a turbocharger, <laughs> a six foot carbon fiber four blade prop, and 38 inch bush tires. This thing is literally Bigfoot with wings. I am ready for it. All right. Clear prop. Ah, I keep remembering oh, yeah, which my fired thing up right is. away. I wasn't holding the brakes like an idiot. Um, I don't know what that button does. I'm not gonna mess with it. Landing torch and strobes are on. Oh, we are. This thing just wants to go, man. Like when you fire it up, it's good to go. Oh, it is. Yeah. No, oh, this is look the at those strobes out there. It looks so cool. No, this is really powerful. This airplane. Like, I mean, for clarity, if anybody ever downloads this and flies it, you need a quarter throttle for takeoff. Nothing more. Oh yeah. <laughs> You'll see. Right. Do you want to lead off? Uh, sure thing. Oh, uh, we gotta check the winds here. What are the winds? I'm checking now. I think we're taking off to the right. Yeah, I'm thinking right now, looking at the runways. Current meter is not loaded. Screw you, Garmin pilot. <laughs> Oh, four. Runway four, I think, looks to be the best Run one for us. All right, runway four. So let's look at our, well, I don't have a heading. Well, here we are, three zero zero right now. So we're taking off to the right? Correct. Beautiful. I'm watching for ground personnel. You know how they are here in this. Oh, they're suicidal thing. in the sim. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, we'll take turns uh, being boss in the front. That way we can, you know, see each yeah. other. A little bit of a... Man, this tire is so massive. You can see it real easy on the side. Oh, yeah. No, uh, the trick with these sort of things where you've got your nose so high is make sure you're uh, kind of S-turning. -turning. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a typical day here in Alaska. Sure nice is. and gloomy and rainy, but it looks like it's going to clear up. From where we're going maybe i don't know yeah it should be good Why it's not? not too bad for me i don't think my weather's sinking the same as yours but uh okay it's looking pretty nice here well it's not raining anymore that's the nice part about it that is beneficial all right i got my stick forward here i'm gonna take the left side of the yep, runway I'll the right beautiful go when you want Come. all right cool i'm gonna just slide into the throttle a little bit here on the stick ever so slightly using a quarter throttle here almost 30 on the tack there it is right there's that p factor woohoo <laughs> <laughs> Woo, you're out of here this thing is insane okay we're good we're good and now i can add my power and now we're gonna firewall it look at this oh man <laughs> <laughs> oh that is incredible yeah it's got some power let's take it to the uh the right Coming around to about 195. All right, 195. I'm pull my power back and get it out of the yellow band here. All right, I see you over so, there. So yeah, I'll, we're heading basically for aiming for the end of the spit here and the uh, kind of the war the uh, tide break, and we're going to be heading yeah. straight across basically from there. I got you, man. There's some blue so water some in here. Oh no, it's the sun hitting the the water over there. That looks incredible. Wow. That looks really good. Oh, it really does. No. Alaska is a beautiful place to fly. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous scenery. And Homer's pretty nice. Even though this is a default airport, I wish someone actually did a good one. It's pretty central to a lot of great flying. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is amazing. That looks incredible over there. Why is my radio ticking right, on and back off? This way a little bit. That's why. I'll be on your right wing. Copy. 
I think it's okay. the, tor the landing light, I think, is like really, really bright on this thing. Because I can see it in the front. I can see it from here. That's strange. Yeah, there is. So I think this has got the feature of the, uh, the follow me light on the back for kind of formation leaders bush flying. Oh, that makes sense. Yep. Oh, that is so cool. All right. I'm just going to kind of follow you around. Whoop, I'm a little bit more of the right here. Yep, you should see like a small island just ahead of us on the coastline. Yep, I see it. It's kind of covered by mist. Yeah, that's about right. And cloud. Yeah. Yep, okay. In fact, the tallest peak in that range ahead of us should be on our nose right now. That's kind of yep. ballpark of where we're heading to, then we'll follow the coast. Oh, perfect. Now, in real life below us, that's, uh, well, obviously it's the, the wind break, but it's, uh, you see a lot of fishing boats in there and a lot of uh, workshops and things on it. It's a little generic right now in this sim, but there's docks and uh, boats tied up there. It's a fishing port down here at Homer. Very nice. Yeah, I've been all up and down that peninsula before. I've uh, done landings on the sandbars there. Yeah, we're going to go for a ridge line today. Spot. It's funny that you chose this exact spot because this is whenever I fly in Alaska, this is the area I fly in. Yeah, I wanted to find something interesting, but then I thought, you know what, there's some really great stuff here and there's already one great standard airport, but there's yeah. some scenery available for other ones. Um, but the other places I typically fly, it's a little bit longer between hops, whereas this gives us a nice opportunity for a lot of smaller places to go in and out of. No, that's perfect. The other places are either generic flat or hell mountains, but yeah, thought will break you in easy. <laughs> Let's see here, outside view. Let's gonna bring it around, around a tiny here. touch here, by the way. Just taking okay. us towards the uh, no problem. This headland just ahead of us. So coming around, looking for about one seven five maybe. Yep, I'm following you to the right. So we're heading to Paparoska, Sierra Oscar, which is sold over in a moment, which should oh, be great. just up the coast. And we ain't using a runway. <laughs> <laughs> Runways, what are those? Oh, it's nice having that follow me light on here. Let me tell you, especially in this. This is absolutely dangerous, like doing <laughs> full we... formation flying in the clouds. Uh, should we drop down a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I can see the coastline now. It's starting yeah, to Yeah, we'll drop down a little bit. All right, cool. Bring it down to about a thousand feet. All right, sounds good. Let's drop the power back a little bit here, so we're not. Back a little bit here. Oh, I love the responsiveness of this airplane. Yeah, well, it's a car engine technically. Yes. You said oh, so it was we, uh, like a Camaro engine. I believe so. Yes, that or a Subaru, one of the two. But uh, no, Corvette engine. Sorry, it's a Corvette engine in this. Corvette engine. Yeah. But we, we both said, pull the power back at exactly the same time. Like, no joke. <laughs> I was saying the exact same thing in my own mind uh, to, uh, to my own mind as you did it. So, it's kind of like, yeah, we both recognize the need for that one. But, yeah, about 1,000 here. Sounds good. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we just broke out. Looks amazing over here. Yeah, some gorgeous, gorgeous flying here around here. A little bit more. There we go. Awesome. So, yeah, you started uh, the Av Angel channel not terribly long ago. Uh, September, actually, yeah. It's been yeah. a passion project, something that I wanted to do for a really, really long time that I didn't really know how to do years ago, mm -hmm. but having learned how to do that sort of stuff and do okay, um, I figured I'd apply what I'd learned to doing that and something that I've been into for coming on 15 years now. Right. And it's been exciting, especially with this new sim being so right on the forefront and so many new things coming to us. It's groundbreaking times for flight simming with this level of realism no absolutely and yeah i uh i watch your videos to make sure you know i'm not spending money on something i shouldn't and that is something that uh, your channel does that's differently from mine uh she'll actually go and buy all the add-ons so you don't have to for microsoft flight simulator and you can see which ones you know are up your alley and which ones aren't Sorry about that. Um, I just dove out of the sky for a second. That's okay. Uh, I followed you down. I'm no, like, no, no, angels, no, no, no. I'll go down with you. <laughs> no, that would have been bad. I nearly crashed. I had to literally move away from my desk, close oh. my window, because my engineer neighbor was back at it with a circular saw. So oh, that's I was like, okay. oh, damn it, I need to close my window. Well, uh, I didn't hear that was anything anyway. 
Good, good. <laughs> but yeah, no, I go out and I will go and I will suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous add-ons uh, to try and give people the information I wanted when I was starting out in this. Even not just starting out, but a lot of flight simmers aren't... No one's really wealthy enough to just go out and buy every add-on that comes out and go, eh, right, I don't like yeah. this and chuck it out. Nobody wants to do that. So this gives people the opportunity to really, I, I hope, see a very kind of unbiased but not... I'm not going to just rubbish something for the sake of it, but at right, the same time, I want to give people an honest look. Yeah, no, I I appreciate those videos because it's it's saved me from buying things. I, I get really excited every time a new add-on comes out for The Sim, and then I'm like, oh, I mean, eh, I don't really need it <laughs> after yeah. I see somebody else use it. Coming right back. And the there's way. quite a few people out there that do different reviews, and uh, you're definitely up there on the on the list. Ooh. Slow down. Yep, just come into the right a little bit. I realize we're also running real slow, so I'm about 50 on the tack. Oh, that's right. I'm just visual with you, so I'm just following. Cool. Yeah, no, it's not just about reviews. I mean, that's something I, I want to clarify is that I, I see a lot of channels out there doing airline flying, doing GA flying, but there's so yep. very few out there flying in the bush, which is something I've done for years in the simulator, and one day I'd love to come out to these sort of areas and do it for real. Um, I'd have to have an instructor because while I have a PPL, I don't have any experience doing this stuff in real life and I would not assume to risk my life doing that because it is very dangerous compared to GA flying. Oh yeah, um, absolutely. Thousands of hours in the sim don't prepare you for the real thing. They can't. But it's it's an exciting different type of flying that I just think is so unique because so many people just don't bother doing it. It's like I watch a lot of your videos to watch the airline stuff because I like your style of actually presenting what you're doing with it and how you kind of it's just more fun to see it through somebody else's eyes because i'm too incompetent with airliners right it's well it's procedural it's just you learn and that's the thing is that i will fly one airplane for a while and then i will fly one airplane for a while that way you have enough time in the airplane to learn it and fly it decently correctly i mean i don't fly it a hundred percent to the numbers or a hundred percent to the checklist but close enough that's always been my motto, just eh, close enough. Yeah, close enough works. Simming's supposed to be fun. It I don't is. Get that's too the thing. involved in the FMGS and then do that as much as some other people do. Yeah, I've got fun. friends who'll sit and do twelve hour flights in their airliners yeah. and I'm like, Man, your ass is watching Netflix for half of that. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. No, this is a lot more hands on experience and any time I get a chance to go bush flying uh i am down so yeah. this was this was perfect i needed this to definitely get back into the sim because i did like a f-22 video and then now this is this is fantastic yeah there's been a couple of decent jets so far that have come out uh that being one of them that's pretty good um the italian ones the retro ones so far have been the best i think the mb339 yeah A's that and, and the fiat yep. yep i have those they're great Oh, do you have the Hard Deck Simulations carrier add-on? I do not. Get it. You will enjoy it. Because you get to eat to. yourself off a carrier deck. It gives you like five um, locations. You've got like East Coast, West Coast, Mediterranean. Uh, you've got the, the Gator Coast. You've got Middle East. So there's a bunch of different actual full-on Nimitz-class carriers around. And you can use aircraft to either have a tail hook or don't have a tail hook and go flying you can throw a Cessna 152 off a carrier deck or the catapults it's hilarious I'm to pick that up Ooh, I'm picking up some mountain turbulence here yeah you'll get some here the way the winds are cooking right now um it's gonna try and push us down a little bit here but this is kind of shallow so we should be pretty good that's the one okay. thing to be aware of when you are flying in like a valley especially a tighter valley you want to be keeping an eye on the direction of the wind because like in urban streets you'll notice how the wind's always somehow blowing to or away from you oh yeah it's called the canyon effect now, it happens in, obviously, real canyons and valleys, but mm -hmm. in wider ones, you'll get the wind coming in over the top, if it's across the top of it, and it'll dive down into it, go along the bottom and up the far side. So. Oh, yeah. I got, I yeah. got my uh, my teeth cut in uh, in Spain, in Montserrat, in a, a, Ooh, next to that yeah, massive mountain in the real world, and it, it was the worst turbulence I've experienced in my uh -huh. life. Here First we are, by the way. Mountain flying. Yep, there it is. Solovia. This oh, is a nice yeah, free yeah. scenery. I'm going to be linking this one, of course. Um, yep, I'll do the same. Flightsim.to. Great resource for places. 
Um, but I don't think we're going to land here at the airport. That's that's too easy. Not for this plane. Oh, we did touch and go. Well, we could do, but you see that spit across the bay? Yeah. I'm feeling I, that. I don't have any landings in this airplane yet at all. <laughs> okay, you can t let's do a touch and go then. I'll follow you in. Okay. Do you want right, to go cool. turn downwind here? Yep, turn down okay. wind here. I'm gonna feel out the the wind. It's looking okay. Which I've got the field inside. I'm just to your now nine o'clock. Low. Nine low. I can't imagine. Uh, I got you. Using, I got you. I can't imagine even using flaps in this airplane. You don't need it, honestly, unless you're gonna stop in like ten feet. Yeah, of course. Which I'm gonna do now. I might do one notch on this just just because. Pull my power back here. I'll follow you in wide. All right, Turn sweet. when you hit the uh, the kink in the river. There we go. He's very low. Right on the money on the white arc. Put that flap in. I'm actually going to put some here. flaps in here to delay. Visibility is extremely poor. I know the airport's right over here. I come right through the valley. Yep, there it is. That's a short final. Oh, yeah. I had to maintain visual of the the airport. I couldn't even see that. Ooh, yeah, this is nice. Here we go. Gonna put some power in. All right, up and easy here. Boop. I knew I was gonna touch that one hard. Oh yeah, we're good though. Oh man, the performance this thing has is so wonderful. I'll do one more quick approach on this one. My first landing was definitely a, a thud. It'll do that to you. You can go a lot slower than you think. One thing I got to say about this airplane is bush flying with it is wonderful because you have that power when you need it. Oh, the escape potential of an engine this powerful is huge, and that's something that's the biggest killer of bush pilots in Alaska and other places yep. like that is not enough power. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Drop down into our arc. Are you uh, on short final? Negative. I already touched. I'm going to go okay, and uh, scope out the sandbar for us. All right. Awesome. I'm just getting my training here in this airplane. <laughs> Got a super short final again here. All right. We got mega Flaps obstructions. Oh, wonderful. This time I'm going to let this thing settle out a little bit more. It, it it, actually falls down a lot more than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to have more of a float to it, but it didn't. If you put the flaps in, it will float, but you can hang it on the prop a lot. So you can actually come Man. in really, really slowly with it. Yeah, I can see that. For me, what's weird is the um, the amount of... Like you have a you have to have a little bit of power in on the landing. I was I did a power off and it seems like it wants to fall like a rock. That's because the prop creates a lot of drag. Uh that makes sense. Alright, where are you in location? I see you over there. Yep, yeah, just behind you. So I the best you. way in here coming in is gonna be just past this headland to the okay. right hand side of it. And we're gonna kinda curve in and drop down past the trees. So shouldn't be All too right, hard, but it's not wide and there's not a huge margin, but with how slow this thing can go. You could be able to hang it down there on the propeller and be just fine. Wonderful. All right, I think I see you going to be passing me on my right. I'll come underneath you, yeah. Got visual? Uh, I got visual on you, not the place we're landing. Okay, so just keep eyes on me and I'll show you. All right, cool. Flip it around this way. Boy, I am C. Oh, this is absolutely dangerous. I the love best it. kind of flying. There, I got you now. And I got more of a eyesight on where we're landing. It's one right off our nose here, right? Correct. I'm just going to hug the side of this little hill and okay. then swing in past it. There's tons of room there after you get past the trees. Oh, yeah. I see it over there. I'm going to go ahead and pull my first notch of flaps here. I'm going to go full flap on this one and just kind of hover it on in here with you. Oh, it's a long sandbar. Nice and long here. So we just bring her down easy, past the trees. But these have massive tundra tires on it too, so this will help a lot compared to laying on that asphalt.
Oh yeah, lots Hold of it. right rudder. We're good. Caught it. We're good. I'm rolling oh, out now. Oh, that was my best landing so far. Three point. I did not oh. see that. I'll have to watch your video to see your landing there. <laughs> no, that was my best one. I was thinking about that. I was like, you know what? I wonder if the Tudger tires create a lot of bounce on that asphalt as it should, you know, in the real world. Yeah, they, they should. And this thing also has massive coning shocks, by the way, just to add to the insult to injury. Yeah. No, it was much better on, on this. Flip it around here. Oh, that is so cool. I bet this thing gets off the ground like no problem here. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm going to put the flaps in. One of my favorite things you do on this airplane is you go full, you bring your power Oh, up. be careful. This will bite oh, yeah. you in this plane. We'll be all right. Oh, I'm going to watch the, it. The turns <laughs> many times. Come on. There you go. Come on, turn it more. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh, I'll go just one notch of flaps on this one. And we're taking off on a tailwind, I am sure, of it. He's got to deal with that sometimes in the bush. Yep. Here we go. We're good. Oh, yeah. Nice. She's up. Just like that. <laughs> this thing is so much fun Whee! to fly, though. I can tell you. Right, I'm going to spin around the island here until you get in the air. Oh, I'm already up. We're good. All right, cool. <laughs> so All swing right, around uh, to the left, and we're going to follow the coastline further along. Okay, sounds good. I'll uh, lead this time so you can fly the wing. Yep, go for it. Uh, just get ahead of me. I'll just circle out to the sea. Oh, I see ocean. I see the sandbar. Okay, we're good. Keep it low enough. That was a little scary. I'm going to try to stay to the coastline so I can see. Yeah, this you do not... that. I'll find you and follow you. This is dangerous bush flying today. No clickbait. That's what this is. I had a pretty nasty one uh, last week, I think it was, in the Islander. Took it out to, into British Columbia, and that was... I was going full IFR with the GPS to tell where the mountain was. It was oh, horrific. man. Popped out of the cloud just short of the runway. I, I had to land downhill in a crosswind just to cope with seeing it. Jeez. Yeah, I'm just following right, the coastline here. I'm keeping it about... I'm going to pull my tack back down to 40... Yeah, there do that. Go. I'm just going to put it at 50 and catch up to you now. All right. Uh, we have another set of... I'm just going to maintain my altitude right now. I'm losing sight of the ground. Boy, Try it is to. bad today. Yeah, Microsoft may not have synced the weather across the Atlantic because it's a beautiful cloudless day for me. Oh, maybe you don't have live weather on. No, I, I do. It's just it's. I don't think it's syncing. Oh, Time's gotcha. the same. Very strange. All right, coming up behind Jeff now. Yeah, wait till you see what I'm seeing. <laughs> it's, it's it's ridiculous. Unless you're sideways and completely blind, uh, you you manage. Oh yeah, I'm just watching the trees here and following the coastline. Yep. I see it's low level fog right there. That's scaring me. I'm gonna go to the left here because there's some really low level fog over here. Yeah, we should be good once we get it past this whole kind of outcropping. We'll come up on Nanualak in just a moment. Sounds good to me. If you had some more time in this plane, I'd probably suggest we try landing across the runway. But that might oh, be a bit too cool. soon. <laughs> we can try it if you want. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's go okay. for it. There's a wall of garbage over here. I'm just maintaining as much VFR as I can here. What VFR? <laughs> oh, man, oh, he's all man, over the place. He's blinding over here. I see the coastline ever so slightly here still. We're good. Uh, this is some crazy flying. Okay. All right, I'm on your six. Got your follow light. Okay, awesome. I think that's what the torch light is. It is, yeah. Let's Head see, across I'll this headland it. here. Don't follow the line. You can just climb over these trees. Okay. Oh, no, he's gone that way. I'm really hoping for some better visibility here. That should be us just past but this bit ahead. it's not going so hot. There he is. Oh, where are you? There you are. I'm on your 10. I'm just going to slow it down. Okay. The village is around on 12 o'clock now. 
12 o'clock? Okay. Do you see the mountain in the distance or not? Uh, no. Okay. Aiming for 180. Ballpark at 180 or slightly for you, would you have far okay. out you are, about 175. Yeah. Yep, turning now. There's about 175 there. I'm at 210. Hold on. A little more to the left. I got him. This will be better. More Where this is way. he at? I see what looks like. I see you over there. Yeah, ignore You're me. Headed. Just go the way you were going. Okay. Yep, I'm uh, flying. I'm pretty much 175 right now. Where has he gone? Slow it down a little bit here. Yep, I got eyes on you. I've lost viz on you. Where are you? Uh, right at your 12 o'clock. Now 1 o'clock. Same altitude. Eyes on. Awesome. Yeah, it's clearing up over here now, finally. My lord. <laughs> that was a hell of a rainstorm I just flew through. Do you have visual on the runway? No, not a runway. Okay. Drop down. Take it to about 500. Okay. And your current heading should be good. Okay. Oh, I see it out there yep. in the corner. This is the one I landed the A320 at, right? Yep. We're going to be oh, landing yeah. across this one. Okay. So just stall it onto it? Yeah, sure. No, uh, we will do that. All right, let's get down behind him. See what the wind's doing here. I'm flying along this way. Looks like it's pushing me to the right, so I think we're going to be into the wind we, when we turn left. Should be enough, yeah. Okay, let's get in oh, behind. Oh man, I'm just happy to be able to see something again. That was that was brutal. <laughs> it's one of the most intense feelings of the sim is really heavy IMC. <laughs> yes. Right, I'm like, man, I mean, if I hit, yeah, I want to hit the, the ocean or a mountain, that'd be stupid. This way. Yep, I'm basically on a left base for half of the for the cross runway here. <laughs> oh, this should be exist. interesting. <laughs> this should be real interesting. There, I'll pull my power here completely. Get into my white arc. There's two white arcs on the speed here. I see. Yeah, you're never going to exceed speed on notch one, notch two. Though I'd probably aim for the white arc on this. Yep. All right, so we're going to stall the sucker right on to there. Let's do it. Full flaps. Yes, we're currently doing about 40 knots, so. Oh, yeah, this, this thing is... is super slow right now. It's like being so in a car. crazy. Yep. That's like a helicopter right now. Feels like I'm flying a helicopter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we have a nice headwind here. Feels like it. Okay, let's get lower. Keep the nose There's in control. There's plenty of room to land sideways here. Let's see how this goes. Budget over a little bit. There's that stall horn. I want to hear More that. Power. All the way down. This isn't going to be a pretty landing, I'll tell you that. Oh, stalling. Oh, Whoa, I'm dead. <laughs> Way too close. Ah, I turned it in. Thing. I did the same damn thing. I turned it in as well. Oh, oh gosh, darn it. We'll try uh, it again. We will indeed. Uh, we're going to take off here. Screw it. Well, now I know where the... Um, the bite point, now, yeah. Yeah, I know where the point of what it can and can't do is now. I think I'm floating. It, yeah, it, it wing stalled the hell out of it, man. That was insane. This thing's floating. I'm okay, apparently. All right. <laughs> See you down there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'd Attempting be dead, but I'm again. floating. So this time, I'm not going to cut my power that early. Oh. Let's see. If I'm going to try to land Can I climb right this? on top here. Oh, yeah. This thing really wants to wing stall a lot. Can I climb this? Here we go. Just drop it on down. Oh, wing stall onto the runway. <laughs> and we are dead on our top. Uh, there you go. I don't think I'm getting this thing rolled over. I think that's it for me. Um, okay, Did you see that? Oh, my God. 
I just monster trucked up the side there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just uh, went ahead and oh, shut God, everything yep. off. I'm uh, upside down here You're on very the dead. Yep. <laughs> actual runway. And that's not uh, changing anytime soon. No. Uh, don't perform these maneuvers, kids, unless you have time in the aircraft. It helps. <laughs> uh, I've done oh, this in the actual... Man. The main savage, you know, the actual normal one that comes with a sim. Yeah. I've never tried this stuff with this one before. <laughs> yeah, this uh, was interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was uh, that was definitely a trip. I'm, I'm kind of happy that I ended up crashing it because I, I wanted to uh, see like right where it was going to be. Oh I'll dear. Be damned. Yep, you're very upside down. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, Absolutely incredible. Oh dear. Um, well, on the bright side, there is literally one leg left after this, so we should be good. <laughs> yeah, guess what I just did? Like a dummy. I forgot to start recording again, so uh, oh, I just did. It. Screw it, we'll do it live. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's only like 600 meters of distance, so we're good. Yeah. Yeah, well, no maybe more deal. than that, but let's see. Quibbling. Okay, so we're up here, so we're going to have to start climbing up now. You may end up in the sock. So stay on my light. Try and get as close as possible. Okay. Yeah, yeah we, we took, took off, off out of there, and now we're on our, our final leg, leg after us both binning our car, our, uh, not cars, but our airplanes. Yeah, we'd have died there on that Wallach <laughs> Beach, but uh, we made it okay, because it's a game. Oh, no, I'll yep. offend all the hardcore simmers by calling it a game. <gasps> oh, don't you do that. Yeah. You should see, I can't wait till you see the visibility I have on this. This has just been an absolute nightmare of a flight. <laughs> I'm so Even sorry. Even though this is supposed to look really beautiful in, 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 yeah. nice in Alaska this time of year. I'm so sorry. I thought it was going to be That's, fine. Like, it's been great no, on my end, but not on yours. You'll have to watch yep. this to see where we're going. That's right. Yeah, if you want to see the scenery, go check out Ab Angel. Yeah. And if you want to see the... The harrowing, the harrowing experience, experience that it has been, been to fly in formation <laughs> with these in the rain. Right, right here. here. St stay tuned. Yeah. This landing. You got my light still? Oh, yeah. Oh, I got, got you. you. Okay. So it should get a lot easier in a moment. We're just coming to the pass here. About a thousand feet is all you need. Yeah. I can yeah, barely see the ridge line up yeah. here right off our 12. Or I can see the, the valley One left and right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So stick to this right hand side. Yep. Watch out for it pushing that. you down though on this side. Oh, yeah, let me add a little bit of power here and get some altitude. So I don't just throw me into the side of a mountain. That would be nice. Yep. And I'm watching my actual amount of bank here, too. Yeah. There we go. I can feel okay, it moving yeah, I can now. I see a little bit better now. Yeah. Dogfish Bay out here on the coast is just ahead of us. And yep, I see it. should be nice and easy. It's just to the right hand side of this hill now. Oh, I broke out of the clouds. Yep. I can, I can see. see. I can I see, see again. again. Oh, oh my god, god I, can I can see. see. <laughs> you were blind and now you can see. There we go. Yes. Uh, wow. That was that was an experience. And yeah, I'm getting just absolutely tossed by the mountain turbulence right now. Yeah. Okay. So runways, we're going to be crossing over about the halfway point here in a minute. So we can do okay. a, uh, a right base entry. Should be just directly below us in a moment now. I think it's I grass, is it a grass, grass strip? Yeah. Beautiful. Oh yeah, nice this is and nice and down wide. Here. Well, I, I can, can actually see, see again. again. This, this is, is awesome. <laughs> yep, there's the strip right there. That's where we're landing. I'm now over it, and I'm watching the wind. It is pushing me to the right. Yep. Perfect. Coming around yep. here. That is correct. I got you in sight. I'm going to go and pull power here. I, I can see fine now. Cool. So I'm just going to get set up for the landing. Yeah. And I'll follow you in. Can I turn base now? Okay. I shot the power off here. I'm not going to bother with flaps on this runway. It's huge. Yeah, now we're right on the edge of a rain shower on my screen. Where are we at? Here we go. Got it. Uh, lessons learned on using full flap and letting this thing. What, I mean, once it gets to that stall horn, and if it's on, if it gets re starts to get really loud, that's yeah. death. So you gotta make sure that. you don't have any banking as well because it will kill you. It'll, the angle of attack yes, will get you. It will literally kill you. All right, coming in now. I think that was my demise. Was using too much aileron. 
at that level of speed. Probably. Also, I am fast. I'm going to slow down here. You're looking good there. No, I'm too fast. Oh, man. Look at those mountains. That is beautiful. All right, I'm coming Going around. Right around 45. 45 knots. Going around. I'm not sure what you would land this at normally, but it's probably about keep good. power in this one. Yeah. I just wasn't going to touch soon enough. I was too high and too fast. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Let's turn this around. All right. Oh. Whoa. 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 You on your lid again? What in the hell happened? No, not on my lid. It just rolled over on its side. <laughs> uh, yeah, big tall landing gear could do that. Wow. Let me try that again. All right, here we go. I get Lower a now. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The do over is always happen. worth it. Yep, didn't happen. <laughs> you get to see the secrets if you watch my side of things, where it definitely did happen. Okay. Let's bring it around here nice and easy and find my that room. There's always this rain. There we go. Stupid rain. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Absolutely. There okay, we go. I see you down there now on final. Yep. I'm dealing with a rain shower right now, but I'm going to follow you in. Pull my power. Oh, yeah, blinding rain. Power's Here's out. Look over here to the right. We're good. Looking Light good arc. now. Much faster. Or slower, I should say. Slow is the right word. I'm 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 not gonna land this airplane with full flap. I'm gonna land it with one notch. Oh, I'm on no notches. Oh, see, I've been I, that. The last bad landings I've had where the crashes were I was full flap. No, I think it's just too much drag. Slow full flap is a commitment to land, and you are going in no matter what, and you're using power to keep it going. Yep. This at most needs one notch for any regular runway. One okay. maximum. That makes sense. Yeah, I'm not going to do that again. Here we go. Dogfish Bay. I'm not going to do that again. All right, coming in now. Keep it long. There we go. A lot more Parking left rudder on. needed here. No, hello. There we go. Oh, yeah. My best landing in this thing so far. Jeez. There he comes. <laughs> that was... Uh, This has been an experience for sure. I love this thing now. It's crazy. Yeah, I learned do not use full flap in it because it, that's what my problem was. Like it was just, it's too much drag and it wants to fall out of the sky. Yeah, you got to be really hanging it on the propeller to actually do use the, uh, the full flap extent. It's, it's for very specific situations if you need to touch down on that helipad. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Wow. Such a tall what airplane. An airplane. Oh, very cool. I'm now the gear height is just insanely tall. Down. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, we're well, semi-translucent there because of that, but uh, we will shut down. I think Sim thinks I'm too close to you. Move over this way. Oh, magic off he goes. <laughs> well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this today, and thank you to Jeff for joining me. And, uh, All right, I'm going to spin over here and shut her down. Do not be special when be flying nice bush planes. With you here. You do stupid things, but turns out they work great as monster trucks as well. I don't know why it always makes the landing gear disappear. Strange. The sim is on crack. That's clearly yep. it. All right. These come off. Off on you completely. And there we go. Park brake is set. Wonderful. What a hell of a flight this was today. <laughs> Absolutely was. Well, thank you for flying with me. It was great. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.